Today I'm here to talk to you about using fire brine on shrimp for the upcoming ice fishing season. It doesn't matter where you're at, you can use shrimp to, to catch fish through the ice. So I like to take these natural store-bought shrimp, you know, tail on, shell is still on, and I, li I like to brine them up and get them ready before I hit the ice. You, know, you can see I got several different Posky fire brines here. You know, these, these, these brines work awesome and giving these shrimp some color, some durability, and it's giving the fish something a little different to look at, especially when there's a lot of people out on the lake and they're just using shrimp right out of the package or some store-bought uh, salad shrimp that, that's been cured up. This is something a little bit better. You know, it, it, it appears to be kind of big. Once we get them brined up and get them on the ice, all we do, we just pinch off. Pinch off a little piece right there and we'll tip our hooks, we'll tip our jigs. Uh, just get it down there. This is fresh. You know, this, this brine works awesome. They see here pink rose. You know, we take the shrimp, we just put them in a small dish like this. We're going to take a little bit of brine and we're just going to bring it up to the top of those shrimp down there. Just like that. We'll just go right down the line, do some natural. Because there's days where natural wild fish, the pink, you know, sometimes it'll be chartreuse, red, orange. You know, we just, we take a lot of different colors of baits out on the ice with us when we're out there fishing. You know, we, we watch the fish, uh, record what they're doing, and, and keep track. That way we know in the future, you know, what worked well for us, what colors, you know, for fishing shrimp or for fishing herring. We just top all these off. And what I like to do is, once I get them all filled up, and just let these shrimp soak up the brine. Uh, you know, I'll put them in the, I'll put them in my fridge, my bait fridge, and let them sit, you know, 24 to 48 hours before I take them out, pull them out of the brine, dry them off, and then get ready to fish. You know, this brine really holds up with these shrimp. You know, we we get a lot of durability out of it. So you can see how easy that was. You know, it doesn't really matter where you are. You, know, you can just pick up a bag of shrimp, and you color your favorite brine, all the brines, and, and just do up, do up some shrimp. Just allow you a little bit of time. Now I'm ready to share with you what the finished product of this fire brine shrimp looks like. As you can see here, we, we, got, we got our shrimp laid out. You know, the, the colors, on these shrimp are immaculate. You know, we got natural down here. We got the we got the rogue red, and you can just see how that fire brine has penetrated that shrimp. You know, and it's it's really in there. That's that's a good a good great great looking red red color on that shrimp. Orange. You know, you can just see it's it's just it's full of orange. You know that that brine really soaks into this bait. We got these chartreuse greens and man this this right here is probably one of my favorite favorite colors to fish up here in Alaska the Arctic char they love chartreuse they love green and they really get after this shrimp this stuff right here just glows underneath the ice and finally we got this pink rose you know and it's got a good a good color to it also and, and you can just see it's all the way through there you know I can't stress the importance you know, putting your bait in the brine for 24 to 48 hours, or pull it out, lay it out, dry it off. You know, then that then that bait is ready to ready to fish. As you can see here, you know, that's a pink shrimp. Started off just like the natural here, changed colors all the way through. You know, and it, the big thing with this shrimp, you know, you just cut off cut off a small small little chunk. And there you go. You just tip your jig, put it on your hook, get it down through that ice. Those fish are going to love it. Doesn't matter where you're fishing. You got any species that chases after shrimp, you put some of the Posky's fire, fire brine on there, you're going to set yourself up for success.